Yo, Jay Blank here. What if you could hold a whole social network right in your hand? No, not on your phone. I'm talking about this, a tiny computer that looks more like a calculator. But this isn't just any social network. It's Flip Social, a community that started on the legendary Flipper Zero and now, thanks to my latest firmware, is running on here. I've built a bridge between two of the coolest hobbyist devices out there and in this video i'm going to show you the awesome new features of picoware version 1.3.1 and what it feels like to connect two communities with a bit of code this little guy is the clockwork pie pico calc an amazing piece of kits for makers and retro computing fans out of the box, it's a love letter to the golden age of computers, running a basic interpreter that's just begging for you to punch in code like it's 1985. It's got a wonderfully clicky mechanical keyboard, a really sharp color screen, and this fantastic nostalgic design. But the standard model, the Pico H, is basically a digital island. It has no way to talk to the outside world. It's a powerful engine stuck in neutral. And that's when the classic Tinkerer's question hit me. What if it wasn't an island? What if it could join an existing thriving online community? I saw all this potential just sitting there and that one question sent me down a rabbit hole that ended here turning the Pico Calc from a retro calculator into a fully connected pocket computer that links the new niche Pico Calc community with the massive Flipper Zero scene. Honestly, bridging these two communities was a ton of work. So if you think connecting makers on their favorite hardware is a cool idea, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It tells me you want more ambitious projects that bring people together just like this one. We're just getting warmed up. So how do you get a device that was designed to be offline and plug it into the internet? Well, the answer is a tiny but super important hardware upgrade. The brain of the Pico Calc is a Raspberry Pi Pico. The standard version is the Pico H, which has zero wireless capabilities. So the first step was to carefully open the case and swap that Pico H for a Pico W. That little W is the magic letter. It stands for wireless, adding both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth hardware into the mix. It's a simple swap, but is the absolute key to this entire project. With the hardware sorted, it was time for the brain transplant. This is where my custom firmware PicoWare comes in. With the latest release, version 1.3.1, it's now more powerful than ever. You'd think installing a whole new OS on a device like this would be some risky, complicated mess. But the team at Raspberry Pi made this part incredibly simple. You just hold down the boot button while plugging in a micro USB cable to the Pico. When you do that, the Pico just shows up on your computer like a regular USB flash drive waiting for its new identity. The entire PicoWare firmware is just a single tiny UF2 file. You grab version 1.3.1 from the project's GitHub Make sure to choose the correct variant for your specific Raspberry Pi Pico. So if you have the Pico H, you get the Pico Calc Pico, the Pico 2, the Pico Calc Pico 2, the Pico 2W, you get the Pico Calc Pico 2W, or just the Pico W, you get the Pico Calc Pico W. Click and download the correct one. Now you just drag and drop it onto the device and that's it. The device immediately reboots and its personality is completely rewritten. The old school command line vanishes, replaced by a graphical user interface I designed from scratch to be clean, intuitive, and most importantly, 
usable on a tiny screen. Instead of typing commands, you now have a modern app-based system. This isn't just a calculator anymore, it's a pocket-sized computer ready to connect. Alright, with the PicoCalc Online and running PicoWare version 1.3.1, let's get to the main event, Flip Social version 2.0. The idea wasn't to build a new network from scratch, but to connect the PicoCalc to a massive existing one. Flip Social started as the first social media app for the Flipper Zero and already has over 2,000 registered users. Now, the PicoCalc can join the party. First things first, you need to get online. From the main desktop screen, just click up or enter to open the library. From there, scroll down to Wi-Fi, select settings, and then you can input your network by clicking change SSID and your password by clicking change password. Once that's done, click back to return to the Wi-Fi menu and then click connect. You click right to connect, up to disconnect, and left or back to leave the menu. The best part is these credentials save right to the SD card. So PicoWare will automatically connect to your network every time the device boots up. Now that you're connected, it's time for Flip Social. From the connect screen, hit back twice to open the library again. Then scroll up to applications and select Flip Social. The first time you'll need to go into settings and then here click change user to enter your username or pick a unique one if you're new and change password to set your password. Both the username and password need to be at least five letters long and can't be just symbols. Just like the Wi-Fi settings, your Flip Social login is saved to the SD card for convenience. After saving, click back and then scroll up and click run. This will either log you into your existing account or create one, dropping you right into the Flip Social main menu. And once you are successfully logged in, you do not have to go through the login process again. This menu gives you five options, feed, post, messages, explore, and profile. With Flip Social version 2.0, the experience is richer than ever. From the feed, you can scroll through a clean chronological timeline of posts from the entire Flip Social community whether they're on a Flipper Zero or a PicoCalc. You can comment on posts and when you're ready to share something, you can post directly to the feed. Using the physical keyboard is just a really fun tactile experience. Let's type hello Flip Social. Now we scroll down and hit save. And a second later, it appears for everyone, but it's more than just posting. The messages option opens up direct messaging for private conversations. Explore lets you browse user profiles to find other makers and profile lets you check out your own. So why go through all this trouble? Why build a bridge between two devices? Because it represents a different kind of internet, a move towards smaller, more intimate, and more passionate communities 
built on shared hardware. This isn't about doom scrolling, it's about making real connections with people who share a specific passion. The entire PicoWare project, including the Flip Social Client, is totally open source. The code is on GitHub and there's an active Discord community where people can suggest features or contribute their own code. This isn't just my project, it's a community-driven platform. Developers can use CircuitPython, the Arduino IDE, or the Raspberry Pi Pico SDK to build their own apps for PicoWare, or even improve the social network client itself. This creates a fantastic feedback loop. Someone in the Flipper Zero community can have a conversation with a PicoCalc user, sparking an idea for a new feature. A developer can then build and within days, everyone across both devices can update their firmware and start using it. It's a living, breathing ecosystem that evolves based on what its users actually want proving you don't need a billion dollar company to build a real online community. All you need is a shared interest and a little bit of code. From a retro calculator running basic to a connected pocket computer joining a massive online community, the PicoCalc transformation has been a wild ride. With PicoWare version 1.3.1, we took a self-contained device and built a bridge to the world of Flip Social, connecting the creative Flip Zero and PicoCal communities in one place. It's a testament to the power of open source and the amazing creativity of the maker scene. It's been so much fun pushing this hardware to its limits and watching these two communities come together. But this is really just the beginning for PicoWare, and I've got a lot more features planned. So what do you think? What other impossible things should I try with this little device? Should I try to build a file server, a video player? Throw your wildest ideas in the comments below. And of course, if you enjoyed this project and want to see what's next, liking the video and subscribing to the channel makes a huge difference, and it's free. I'm Jay Blinked. Thanks for watching. Peace.